Christian Drapo said that while much of the focus over recent years had been on embryonic, new, stem cells, their adult counterparts harbor enormous regenerative potential. These cells can be injected, but already exist in their millions inside the body. Triggering their release, a process called endogenous stem cell mobilization, helps the body regenerate and could add decades onto some people's lifespans, he said. If a fit and healthy person ensures that they are constantly doing all they can, through exercise, diet and mentality, to support the release of one's own stem cells they will certainly experience a higher quality of life, he explained. The scientist added, but no matter what is done, after the age of 30 we all experience a significant decline in the number of circulating stem cells, so sooner or later we all can gain from stimulating the release of our own stem cells. Over time the cells, which are a natural function of the bone marrow, can prevent serious health conditions from developing, allowing people to live active and healthy lives into their 90s and even up to 100, he said. The stem cell expert, who is the CEO of stem cell supplement firm Kalyagan, said, The focus of all of my work has been to investigate plants that act as stem cell mobilizers. Ones that trigger or support the natural release of stem cells, leading to an increase in the number of circulating stem cells. Every day of our lives we lose cells and every day of our lives our cells are being replaced, that is the natural role of stem cells in your body. If every day you can release stem cells to help your tissue to repair and renew you stay healthy. And so over the course of one's life you can prevent many so-called age-related diseases from developing. So the impact on society of tapping into the power of our own stem cells in that way is huge. By simply supporting the release of our own stem cells every day we give ourselves the opportunity to preserve our quality of life. Understanding the job that they do naturally and to support it and tap into the potential of our own stem cells is key to staying healthy. I often use the example of walking up stairs. A decade ago we were climbing stairs three steps at a time. Five years ago it was two steps at a time. Two years ago it was one step at a time. One year ago it was one by one and slowly. Six months ago it was one by one slowly and we stop at the middle to catch our breath. Then one day we have a heart attack and can't climb any stairs. The problem did not start on that day. We became a heart patient on that day but the problem did not start on that day. Everything is a slow evolution until the day when the problem begins to affect our lives and then we start to notice it. In the same way, most problems take a long time to develop. So if we can increase the number of circulating stem cells every day, we can assist the body in its natural process of tissue repair before the problems show up and we can stay healthy by giving the body that edge. So for anybody who is healthy and wants to stay that way, stimulating the release of our own stem cells and putting more of them into circulation is key.